Yeah, my name is Aaron Moser. I'm a local uh, diver. Been diving in the Pacific Northwest and all around the world for about 25 years now. Really, my first impression on the black tip when I when I first saw it at the factory was just how compact it is. It's um, you know considerably smaller in diameter than the Piranha and you know pretty much all the other scooters that I'm used to diving. Um, once I actually started using it, uh, my biggest impression was just how tough it was. <laughs> What sort of tests did I put the black tip through? Well, um, the the first one that I had, I started out, you know, just diving it, you know, diving it the same way I would with uh, my piranha. Then, you know, as as we started, uh, you know, moving through, I was really just trying to find, you know, any potential problems that, uh, you know, that could present themselves. You know, it's a it's a new scooter design, so I tried to simulate, you know things that can happen, everything from, you know, the scooter gets down into, uh, you know, sand or a lot of silt stirred up when you're entering into a surf zone, I wanted to make sure that uh, the sand couldn't get into, uh, you know, any spots and cause issues. So uh, to just overall, uh, you know, toughness tests, we wanted to make sure that it was, you know, able to stand up to you know, normal wear and tear for sure, and even the occasional accidental, you know, abuse. So I <laughs> did uh, did end up, uh, uh, you know, beating it up a little bit, and occasionally, you know, a little little hard on on accident. So I, I definitely simulated some, uh, you know, some heavy use. And the biggest impression I ended up with was just, you know, how how it stood up to it. You know, it ended up with scratches on the body and the nose and not much else. Uh, my favorite feature on the black tip, you know, aside from just being such a small compact scooter overall, um, I really like the uh, the speed migrate feature that Dive Extras came up with. Uh, you know, it allows, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that maybe you don't think about how, you know, useful it would be uh, until you've actually started diving it. But to have a, a scooter that, you know, when you stop and then start again, you don't have to migrate back up through the gears. Uh, it starts back up in the same gear that you were just running at, uh, or as you, you know, stay uh, stopped for a while, it will migrate back towards that initial start gear. Uh, it's, a, it's a very useful feature and it's one of my favorites. Probably what surprised me the most about using the black tip uh, was the overall speed and power that it it offers in such a such a small scooter. Uh, you know, I've, I've you know been used to diving the uh, the Piranha, uh, which is a very powerful scooter. Uh, I was not expecting to get nearly that level of uh, you know of, of overall speed and and power. I dive. Uh, rebreather and you know I have a generally you know a camera sling bottles you know a lot of extra gear on and having a scooter a recreational scooter that's able to tow me through the water you know against a current or you know uh, you know tow at considerable speed with all that extra drag um, was pretty remarkable uh, the similarities between the black tip and a lot of the other professional scooters, particularly the the, uh, the other dive extra scooters, is they, they've taken a lot of the uh, you know the design features that that make the scooters you know such good performers be the uh, you know the power of the motor. Uh, you know, the black tip uses a a motor that is very comparable to uh, any of the high end professional scooters on the market. Uh, you know the power tool battery feature that's so popular with the Piranha. They've adapted that into uh, into this scooter as well. I would say with the Black Tip, your your biggest differences are going to be things like uh, the trim. Uh, Black Tip's a little bit more tail heavy, uh, so figuring out and managing it in the water, uh, it's not going to be quite as you know quite as smooth for some of the professional divers or uh, or more experienced scooter divers. Uh, you know the other big difference. You know you're limited to your uh, your 
two internal batteries. Uh, you don't have the expandability that the Piranha, for example, offers. Uh, so your range is gonna be more limited. What kind of diving is best suited for the black tip? I would say, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, most types of diving. You know, it, it uh, perhaps wouldn't be the best suited scooter for, uh, you know, maybe confined cave diving. You know, the, the trim would make a difference in that, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's very well suited for travel. Uh, the lightweight design, the modularity, the compatibility with different batteries, uh, you know, makes it a, a scooter that you can really use anywhere in the world and take anywhere in the world. So yeah, aside from travel, uh, the type of diving that I would say it's best suited for is, uh, you know, it's an awesome addition to any shore diver. It definitely gives you the, uh, the ability to open up the dive site and you know explore uh, much further, uh, you know, particularly with uh, larger capacity batteries, your your range on on this scooter is uh, quite substantial. Also, as I've dove with it quite a lot uh, with my camera, underwater photographers, uh, you know, it gives you the ability to you know, get out and explore and find uh, photography subjects uh, that you couldn't otherwise, you know, get to on a, on a dive. So I know the, uh, the black tip has been marketed and really designed uh, to target, you know, the recreational market, uh, you know, but it's, it's Capabilities and you know range make it actually a pretty good choice, even as uh, you know perhaps like a backup scooter for uh, the technical diving market. You know, I'm looking at uh, uh, purchasing one as a uh, both a backup scooter for myself, and a lot of times you know as a scooter diver, you know you're you're limited in your uh, in your choice of buddies or the types of diving that you can do because your buddy doesn't have a scooter. So having access to a $1,500 scooter, that's going to be able to allow your dive buddy to keep up with you on you know, whatever scooter you already have, uh, makes it a, a great choice as a you know as an additional you know additional part of your standard dive kit. As far as how easy the black tip is to dive, uh, you know I would say if you're a diver who's never dove a scooter before. Uh, you know, it's it's very intuitive. You'll you'll be able to pick it up uh, very quickly. Uh, the speed controls on it. Uh, you know, just the double click uh, to increase speed and single click to go down. Uh, you know, it's it's all very user friendly. So if you're someone who's never dove a scooter, I'd say within you know a couple minutes uh, in the water with it, you should be able to pretty much get the hang of you know the controls and and how the scooter operates. Uh, if you're an experienced scooter diver, you know, it's adapting over to the black tip is, is instantaneous. Your, your uh, controls and operation are all uh, very much the same. Uh, as as would I recommend the black tip to other divers? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, it's, it's not all things to all people. Uh, you know, depending on what someone's needs are in a scooter, there are, you know, some things that, you know, perhaps a, a Piranha uh, would be a better choice. Uh, but for most divers in general, and particularly to, you know, recreational divers, people that just want to get out and have fun with a scooter, uh, it's it's an excellent choice. Uh, you know, like I said, in the, in the recreational scooter market, uh, I don't think that there's anything that even comes close. So for someone who's perhaps looking to get into a scooter uh, uh, or someone who's looking to maybe upgrade a, uh, you know, another you know, recreational scooter option, uh, this gives you some awesome benefits. Uh, you know, it's an it's a excellent design and I'd recommend it to any of my dive friends uh, who are looking for a recreational style scooter.